Hello and welcome to the ninth um, tutorial in the JavaScript series. Um, in the previous tutorial we spoke about, or we introduced you to um, objects and um, declaring uh, object uh, properties and initializing them properties. Um, also the explanation about how to set something and how to get a, a property value. Uh, okay, so but we basically just spoke about um, using uh, a car variable okay and then setting it then initializing it as an object um, using the curly braces now this is potentially making one object okay and if we wanted to make a copy of the car object um, it, we couldn't we couldn't do it okay um, at this point in time because we'd have to copy the same thing all the time and it would um, because it's an object we're copying the space in memory okay um, but let, let me just show you quickly um, if we just say car make um, equals BMW once again okay now uh, this is a car with a make of BMW but then if we then said um, actually well I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna make a BMW and we're gonna give it the value of car okay so potentially we're we're using a better defined name of BMW and we're giving it all of the properties of car now what about if we then make um, well let, let me just show you this actually if we just say car dot make car dot model equals null okay and we initialize all these things to null all right and then we say BMW it equals it equals car okay and then Toyota equals car what we're doing here is we're we're giving these two the exact copy of this car so that potentially all three of them are exactly the same thing okay and if I change Toyota the car will be updated if I change Toyota BMW will be updated if I then change car BMW and Toyota will be updated if you want a single copy okay of car that is that is unique to itself where whenever you update your car it won't then affect any of the other um, objects okay the other cars itself so how can you do this this is the question you know you want to but you want to know if cars updated right then your ones automatically updated so potentially if I made uh, all of these different cars, BMW, Toyota, Ford and stuff, and we had all the properties here of uh, make equals null, and then uh, model equals null, and stuff like that. And then suddenly, so they know, great, I've got a property of make and model, um, but then suddenly you go, oh, wait a minute, I want to add color, and I'll set that to null. Then all of these... Um, other other objects would then be auto updated uh, with that one property okay because but how can you do that is the question okay good well let's just show you I told you there was two methods of of declaring and or two methods of initializing an object okay and it's using a word if I can type today um, a word called new okay now new as you can see it highlights in blue with NetBeans um, meaning that it's it's a, a key word a reserve key word that it is there now this is potentially saying hey this is going to allocate a new space in memory okay for an object and we just say object with a capital letter okay with a capital O and this is now said hey give me a space in memory a new completely new um, unique space in memory for an object please and then put that in the variable name car Okay, so the assignment operator is doing all that. The new keyword, though, is telling the, the memory, hey, this is what I want. I want a completely unique allocation of memory, and this is what size for an object. Okay, now we can then, um, we can then put this information then into car. Okay, but this still doesn't tackle the point about having a unique car, um, a global car that can be used for, for everything. Okay, it's, it's still a couple of problems with this, but let's just show you how to do this first of all with the new uh, object keyword. All right. Okay, so um, now we've got two ways of, of declaring and initializing this one. 
we can basically um, come down here and continue to say car dot uh, make equals uh, BMW and so on then car um, dot color equals uh, red okay but it still doesn't make it fully unique okay because if we then um, we, we can't we want to be able to make this object and then copy it for all of our different uh, real-time models as in BMW, Mercedes, Toyota, Fiat and Ford and stuff we want to we want to copy it and know that we only have to make one object and then we can just make a new complete um, a copy of, of this one object but a unique copy now how do we do this? this is the thing so let's just show you uh, here once again that we've got the object and we can see car is exactly the same has an object that has properties of make and color okay but if we then s say var uh, bmw equals car okay it still doesn't change anything you come down here and you see look bmw is is got the same properties it's got bmw and bmw if i if i update um this one to be a mercedes which would just be crazy then you can see that they're both updated it's the same it's just a copy of the memory it's basically you're updating the same thing the the fact is that they both got they're both different variables this variable says hey give me the space in memory that car's got all right and every single time i update car it's going to up, update bmw it's going to update car so it's not it's not its unique space in memory although this new keyword has said hey give me a new space of memory of type object Okay, it's done that, but with JavaScript you're just passing the exact same value to BMW. Okay, and if we just come come here and say um, BMW dot make equals uh, BMW once again, you know they can just argue between the two of them, and it's just going to set it backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So you want uh, a way of of having your own BMW and your own Mercedes. Now, this is done um, with something else called classes okay now unfortunately in JavaScript is that the the way that we declare a class is also the way we declare a function okay it's not a bad thing um, it's, it's a kind of good thing but we unfortunately we have to um, say the keyword function now in other scripting languages programming languages you can actually use the word class um, but in JavaScript the word function kind of means more than one thing okay so you have to kind of um, be a little bit open to to realize it means more than one thing so in this way um, when we're going to say this means a class okay it doesn't mean a method okay this is this is talking about classes now although we're using the same keyword we're talking about a class okay a class um, is is potentially the blueprint to the object okay when you make the class it, when you make a function a class okay I, I keep using the word class but it's used with the keyword function okay when we make a new class um, we're making the blueprint to how the object is going to be all right potentially you can't use that class until you um, till you instantiate it okay and make it an object so a class has to go through kind of like metamorphosis once you make the blueprint the only way it can come alive is by instantiation okay um, so we're going to say a function car and we come to this and this is how we declare it so we use the we say function then the name of the class and then the open and close brackets and then the open and close um, curly braces now you don't have to write it just the way that I wrote it you could you could simply just write um, like this okay we don't need a, a semicolon on the end of this okay this is one of the only times where you don't have to do it um, but you don't need a semicolon on a, on a declaration of a class okay this is a function as well okay but for the time being we're only going to say it's a class okay um, so when we when we do this we declare it okay now with inside of the the function we can still say var make equals null okay and var model equals null 
okay that would be fine but there's also another special a special word that we can use with inside of it now with inside of the function with inside of the the um the curly braces this is a command block and whenever whenever the, um anything gets declared or used with inside of a command block okay it never goes outside of these command blocks so anything else that we write in this page okay let's get rid of this one because we don't need it everything else we write in this page here okay this is completely secure to okay so it's only with inside of here and in other words we could never never um, access any of those pieces of information outside unless we use a special way of doing it okay so we could make var make up here set to uh, BMW but with inside of here we could then set it to um, Mercedes it doesn't matter these two aren't affecting each other although they've got the same name okay they don't have the same address okay so when we say it, it within here this is um, local to these command blocks all right and this one just doesn't matter this one is actually more of a global um, a, a global variable okay where it can be used throughout the code um, because it's at the uppermost point or and it, and it's not declared with inside of a command block okay so there's also another word which we can use and it's this this is another reserved key word okay now this is only available with inside of a class with inside of also of, of objects okay now potentially sorry that was completely wrong what I just said okay this is only available with inside of an object okay a class is a blueprint of how the object would be okay but this word that this keyword can only be used with inside of an object okay it's not available with inside of a class all right so although a class is an object but it's not it's an it's the blueprint to how the object will be okay so uh, it, the the class doesn't become an object until we instantiate it which I'm going to show you in a second so we could just use make and I would really um, request that you just use the this this keyword because then you're specifically you're explicitly as well mentioning that this make is only in reference to this one car okay it's not in reference to anything else it's only in reference to this one car now once we have the the car itself we can then say var BMW equals new car okay as we did before we said new objects well now we can say new car okay and we can say BMW dot make equals and guess what BMW okay but then what we can do is we can say hey well, let's do it at the same time up here we say uh, Mercedes equals new car this would be correct it's a new car okay and we can say Mercedes dot make equals Mercedes okay this is all good and we see see make up here okay and let's actually just um, set this to null all right so we don't get any confusion and let's keep this make up here shall we and let's refresh this page okay now you can see here we've got BMW is a car and with the property of make is equal to with the value of BMW and then we've got one here Merck with the pr the, um, the property of make has the value of Mercedes and now we can also see their make here is BMW so they're all three of them independent to one another because this is make in lowercase and this one's uppercase they're all independent to each other so this is now potentially this is a car okay uh, as a class sorry a class of type car but when we use this new word this new keyword what we did is we said hey give me a new object of type car okay so then it became after it then with this equal sign potentially then it became an object okay because the new keyword allocates a new spot in memory of type whatever it is to the right of it now if you don't have the class declaration which although it says function okay this is a class declaration 
okay it could also be a function but for the time being it's just a class declaration okay yes well I lost where I am now um, so we're we're now making a new declaration a, a new we're instantiating a, a new version of the class into an object okay so the declaration is the class but then when you use it the car is then an object okay and the object can um, use can have properties and methods now this is a property okay it's not a method inside of here we could then make uh, methods as well okay which we're going to get into in the next tutorial okay so the new keyword was the most important thing which I wanted to highlight to you um, with inside of this tutorial and that a class is just an, um, a blueprint of how the object will be okay anything you put in the class okay it will be available with inside of every single object that you instantiate okay instantiating okay if you if you're not familiar with this word in, within programming instantiating is just it's like kind of initializing it's making a brand new copy of something to instantiate something is a brand new copy of one class what which is going to have the output of an object okay and that every single car or object that you make is unique to itself okay and the the two the two cars here although they have the same name they are not at all related to one another the fact is is they have the same they are of the same type and they have the the same properties okay but they can individually set their own properties completely unique and independent to one another and they won't have uh, won't affect one another okay so that's one th one important thing to remember is they won't affect one another um, okay so I'm going to leave it for now and then we'll move into the next tutorial and we'll talk about um, this a little bit more and um, some methods okay and what methods are okay um, if you want to give me any feedback on this video tutorial okay I'll be more than happy for you to um, send me a message either via, uh, via YouTube or, or Facebook if there's any points in this you didn't understand um, first check out the next tutorial okay because I might cover them in the next tutorial um, and have a look at the playlist and see whether there's any other um, videos there that you can understand um, if worse comes to worse you don't understand something then send me um, a video or a, a message and so on and I'll see whether I can um, assist you any further but this is going to be a long series of video tutorials therefore I'm kinda guessing I'm going to cover everything uh, in all of the videos okay so don't worry about it um, and I'm not going to put all the videos online until the whole series is complete so I'm making sure that I've covered every single aspect that you should need to learn. Okay, um, that's it. My name's David Thorne, if you didn't know already. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I wish you a nice day.